What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again. It's finally happened. Bitmain has released an ET hash or Ethereum ASICs that you can go ahead and purchase on their website. We're going to talk about it right now. Essentially, earlier today, Bitmain released a tweet or tweeted out a link to their store to purchase an ET hash or dagger hash amino. I really should learn how to say that because I'm not really sure on that one. ASICs, and that ASICs is going to run you about $800. Now, that doesn't include the power supply, so if you're looking for a power supply, you're going to want to pick up something like the Parallel Miner. Uh, 1100 watt which will run you about another $179 and so you're going to be under a thousand dollars and what that's going to get you is essentially 180 mega hash conservatively per their website you can purchase it with either a direct USD wire transfer or Bitcoin cash aka Bitcoin trash so if you go ahead and go through one of those methods you can get the system shipped to you and let's talk a little bit about how that compares to a GPU rig at this time. If you're looking at building a GPU rig, it's gonna be pretty difficult to do, but an equivalent to this would be about six RX 580s. And the six RX 580s at this time would cost you way more than we really wanna get into a battle over. So let's talk about retail pricing because GPU pricing is coming down as the profitability of mining has gone, well, down, so those kind of correlate see they go down so since both of those are going down i'm going to go ahead and say that you're going to be looking at six rx 580s at about 300 dollars which will run you about 1800 dollars if you go ahead and add a cpu storage and memory and power supply to that you're getting up and over two thousand dollars so for half the cost you can get the same hash rate on an asics machine the debate comes in is whether or not this is a good or a bad thing and in my opinion because the rate's not so much higher it's not as big of a deal as you might think and that being said as well you also need to take into consideration the fact that they've pretty much said on the ethereum side that they will try to do anything they can to prevent ASICs from taking over that network. But even at that, even if they don't counteract this latest release from Bitmain, 180 mega hash at that price is not gonna be something that changes the game, at least not on the level that ASICs changed the game for, of course, Bitcoin and others. So I'm not really sure that this is as big of a deal as people have been making it out to be. I think we're gonna be okay on the GPU mining side albeit at a kind of a difficult price point because it's going to be hard for me to say go build a gpu mining rig when you can go pick one of these up for half the cost and get the same hash rate this also might change when the new gpu start releasing from both nvidia and amd nvidia should be a lot closer to releasing some new gpus and they already have gotten the p104s which are running of course about 40 mega hash a piece so that's still looking pretty enticing provided the pricing comes back down and we're all solid and good to go over there now the unit's going to weigh about 13 kilograms, which is going to be about 30 pounds. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And the size is going to be quite a bit or significantly smaller than say something like a GPU mining rig. And that's where when you start talking about farms where this could become a little bit more dangerous for the networks, especially the smaller networks, something like Pearl, for example, where you could really take over that network a lot easier with a set of these than you could with some GPUs. And that power consumption is really good as well. You're not necessarily going to have to run 220. And if you are running 220, you'll be able to get two or three of these per power supply on those 220 power supplies. And it's going to be a lot more efficient size wise. So I think for farms, this is where these might become a little bit more relevant than for say like the hobbyist miner who's just wanting to have a little bit more versatility because keep in mind that if you buy one of these you're not going to have near as much versatility as you would with a gpu mining rig where you could switch to things like equihash or x16r shout out to raven there 
or X16S. Get that pigeon out of my house. So there you go, boys. That's the 411 on the A6 miners for Ethereum from Bitmain. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. I'm also curious how many of y'all think that we're gonna see some algo changes coming up for a lot of the larger ET hash coins. Or is it such a low hash rate unit that it's not really gonna be that big of a deal? I'm really curious on what you think because as you guys know, I learn from you just as much as you learn from me or hopefully learn from me. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and I'll see you next Tuesday.